Hi everyone, it's Andrea Decker again, and we are walking up the stairs into our brand new landing area. And just two weeks ago, this space was completely blank. There was nothing up here. It was all white walls, no furniture, nothing. And now two weeks later, I have it furnished. Um, I'm super happy with how it turned out, although it's not at all what I was originally planning on. Um, Dave and I were thinking of making this kind of like a crazy kid area with a stage and like dance bar and karaoke and musical instruments and all kinds of craziness. But after reading some of your comments and thinking about more like what we needed in a space, we kind of changed our minds. Um, so I'll start over here. This is where I just walked up the stairs and this collage kind of looks the same. I wanted to keep a few family pictures up here. So I kept this wall collage the same and then um, we have we brought the kids magnet board out here a lot of the magnets are missing right now because Simon confiscated them but the magnet board is out here to as like a little thing for them to do and then over here I had this chicken wire thing in a closet we weren't using it so I can hang pictures up on that I might add a few more stars up top and then this is really cool these are um, needlepoint things that my grandma did and she is she passed away 10 years ago already um, so I framed a couple of those and put those up here I think they look really nice um, the little couch thing we got it off Craigslist a week ago and it's the perfect size for our space it's much smaller than a love seat it's only about 50 inches love seats are about 60 um, so it fits really nicely I guess it probably wouldn't be my very first choice of color or pattern but it's upstairs it looks really nice it fits the spot um this wooden shelf that's a little shelf right there that I just hung on the wall with brackets to make kind of a tiny little side table and then this cool old picture is my grandpa's dad in one of the wars I'm not even sure which one but there's an X on where my grandpa's dad is so that's kind of cool and I've had that in a closet for years and it's just the perfect spot to hang it so I love that I have a spot for that and then over here on this um, wall opposite Nora's bedroom so you can see Nora's bedroom right through here this is now our upstairs changing area um, for James's diaper and for the new baby when she comes we really wanted some sort of changing area upstairs and we always thought we would put it in the boys bedroom um but then someone made a comment like oh you could put the changing area out in the landing area and that's kind of what sparked our idea um to make this into more of like a living room area so I think it will work out perfectly we have diapers and pajamas and wipes and changing bed covers in the top drawers and then the bottom has some toys in it we have blocks legos stuffed animals stuff like that um, and then up above again this is another one of my grandma's needlepoint things that she made and i think it just fits perfect i found the frame at the thrift store for a dollar fifty the other day um so that is the space there's the boys bedroom back there Nora's bedroom, the bathroom's back here in this corner, and then I had that mirror that I hung up. But I'm super happy with how it turned out. Thank you for all your suggestions. I'm sure I will keep tweaking things um, over the next months or years or whatever. Um, but for now, I think this will be the perfect solution to the random open landing area at the top of our stairs.